having an art auction. Uh, once a year, we have a big fundraising event for the charity. This is the third time we've had an art auction. We have representation from lots of local artists. We have international artists. And if you go into the next room, you'll see our global market, which are all kinds of, of beautiful handmade collectibles from Rwanda that we brought back from last year's trip. We have a fundraiser every year, a big fundraiser every year. Uh, and we like to mix it up. It's not always an art auction. Uh, last year we had a fun dance party with a great Afropop band that we featured. Um, this year it's, it's an art auction. Les Sampu, some people may know her, uh, is performing tonight. We'll have lots of good food and hopefully just a lot of fun for everybody while raising money for a good cause. You know, that's why I love events, is to bring community together. Uh, I love opportunities to do that, and um, because of the nature of this event, too, you know, when I was talking about the artists, we also have Hingham High School artists who have donated to the event tonight, and we have Boston Public School artists who have donated to the event tonight. So we, we really do um, want to do always a broad reach into the community and have as many teenage participants as we can because those are the kids that we're serving. So we have a kind of a two-pronged mission. We raise money to bring financially underserved and really good kids from Boston Public Schools to do service work in an orphanage for teenagers in Rwanda. So we are helping to support this orphanage and we are sponsoring kids who could never have the opportunity, only for financial reasons, to have a global service experience. And it's great because it, it helps you know, develop their leadership skills, it empowers them to see what they have to give back to the world. It's great for their resumes when they're going to college. It's kind of levels that playing field a little bit for everyone. And at the same time, we're really helping vulnerable kids in Africa.